Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Gemini Journalist. It is indeed an honor to have you all here with me this morning, taking the time out of your extremely busy schedules to join me as I read parts of my very own novella, Call It What You Will, My Rape Story. So we are down to read number three. I just want to take this time out to give a very extra, to extend a very ex extra special welcome to all the first timers. If you're here for the very first time, you have not yet hit subscribe, please ensure that you hit subscribe. Hit like at the end of the video if you enjoyed what you saw here today. Guys, don't forget to hit share as well. Share with a friend, a family, you name it. Just share. Get the read out there. I mean, all you got to do is just kick back, relax, and listen. You're not paying for this experience unless you indeed purchase yourself a copy. And definitely, though you're getting it here as a voiceover, you definitely want to go ahead and get the hard copy yourself. And of course, if you want to have aut autographed copies, you can always reach out to me and we can hook you up with that specially done. So down below in the description, you will need to see all the links to my social media platforms. You will also have the opportunity to drop a comment down below as well. So if you want to share anything, if you don't want to reach out via social media, you can always drop your comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Now we're down to our third reading of Call It What You Will, My Rape Story. We would have covered one and two already. If you have not yet checked that out, I have created a playlist so you can definitely go check that out. So without much delay, here we go. Eight months into my pregnancy. My phone rang one morning while I was still in bed, trying to catch up on some extra sleep. I was now eight months into my pregnancy and Jonathan finally decided to call. How are you? I heard him ask on the other end. But my mind was in a totally different place. I placed the phone on the bedside table and rolled over on my side, pulling the covers over my head. Ariana! I heard mother call out for me a few minutes later. It's time to get up! Her voice sounded closer. She knocked on my door before letting herself in. You okay? She asked. My mother loved me dearly and still looked out for me. Your brother and sister are in the kitchen having breakfast. Why don't you come in and join them? But she knew better than to invite me down. Want me to bring it up then? She realized my lack of effort and wanting to get out of bed, let alone even join them as a family. She did an awesome job trying to hold it together. Truth is, I knew it must have been tearing her up inside. I informed mother that Jonathan had phoned. What does that bastard want now after so long and after all the pain and damage he's caused you? I had no answer for her. I didn't even waste my time trying to find out. I doubt his family even knew and I had no information on him. Nothing seemed possible either until after the baby was born. That was when he could be taken to court for child support. Sucks, right? Anyway, mom agreed to take care of us, me and my baby, all on her own. She started buying lots of clothing and diapers along with formulas. I know, I know, breast is the best, but I would have to go back to school and a sitter would have been hired daily for the period I was in school. Counseling Counseling sessions took place a couple times per week and I no longer saw myself as ugly. I started to see the good in me. I started to believe in myself. I began writing my story. The Journey of Ariana Duval Yes, 
My name is Ariana. Mother actually revealed that before now, but yes, I'm Ariana. Ariana Duval. My story wasn't a published one. I only wrote it in my journal. This too was a part of my growth as a teen mom. My counselor advised me to write. Let it all out and trust that no one else would hear my story. It worked just fine and my story remained a secret until six years later when I wrote my official book to all black girls. It began something like this. To all black girls out there, you are beautiful, you are phenomenal, your eyes, your hair, your smile, your talk and your walk reveals that you are indeed a superstar. You're smart, continue wearing it as you are, shine baby, shine. And there you have it, I began my story, the journey of Ariana to all black girls. Thank you so much for joining us today, Gemini Journalist fans. That was indeed read number three of Call It What You Will, My Rape Story. Remember, go ahead and check out the links down below in the description. You can go ahead and grab yourself an ebook copy. You can grab yourself a paperback. This book is available on Amazon to be purchased. Gift a friend today, gift a family, you would name it. Share the, re the gift of reading with someone today. Also located down below in the description, you can definitely go ahead and check out all my social media platforms. Once again, if you have any suggestions, if you have anything you want to share, if there's any ideas, anything you'd like to see here on the channel, you want me to specially read something for you, definitely reach out and I can hook you up. If you're an author and you want me to share your work here, definitely you can reach out um, and we talk some more on that but I just want to thank you all for joining me here today it was indeed an honor for you to take your time out on this Tuesday morning to check in and listen as I continue reading and swaying you away in fine Jamaican style so I look forward to seeing you guys again on, on Thursday and until we see each other you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day have a wonderful rest of the week until we meet again stay safe walk good peace out